Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Um, today's video is just gonna be like a little vlog. I'm just gonna take you around what like we're doing today. Um, I just got home from work. Ah, baby, I just got ice cream in mummy's chin. Say hiya. Say hiya. Say hiya. Hi -ya. Um, so I finish up my day and then I come home because my husband needs to go to work then he has her in the morning but this little one has had croup so we had to sorry she's climbing over me we had to rush her to hospital well not rush her but I had to take her to hospital I had to take her to hospital Friday night because she had a barking cough when we got home um and the minute I got home because I worked a long day on Friday I worked seven till five and she had like cold symptoms so when I <laughs> baby mommy's trying to talk it's okay mommy will put it in the bin in a minute it's okay you can leave it there mommy will clean in a minute because our house is a mess um she had a barking cough and I said to my husband I think she has croup um and he was like no she doesn't well taking a minute i was like no she because she was like coughing so much that she actually made herself sick as like she was throwing up and i didn't want to leave it all weekend and like let her get worse um so i got to the hospital and they in the doctor instantly said she's got croup before even like seeing her he just heard her coughing um and then wrote us a prescription. You've got chocolate all over your face, baby. Wrote her prescription. Um, this is like, I think, after nine, nearly ten at night anyway. None of the farmers at the stop we went to had this prescription that we needed. So we had to come all the way home. Because at that point, she was struggling not to be sick in the car. Oh, no, you got ice cream mommy's top as well, baby. So we had to come home, ring them up again. Um at like 11 o'clock at night to write us a new prescription for something that they actually the pharmacy stock and then they send it to the pharmacy in our town so we can pick it up the next day so we did that in the end but it was just like so scary and it's been quite hard because um any working parent knows when you have to work um and this is my full-time working week as well. So when your baby's sick and you're having to work and still take care of them because they're not feeling well, it's just so hard because I just felt so sorry for her because, like, she wasn't... No baby, leave the tree. She wasn't quite sure what was going on um, when she was vomiting and she would freak out because she was vomiting. So and she wasn't not sleeping very well. So with working, sort of, like, only had, like... Me and my husband have only had like three or four hours sleep like a night. But at least my husband had the weekend off. So yeah. they could sort of just like stay in the pajamas yeah. all day and not have to worry about this. Where I still had to. Mummy still had to. But took her to the doctor again today because she just went completely pale. And they said um, it's not infection anymore. But her throat is raw at the back. So more ice cream. Okay, let's go get the white. Um her throat's raw so it's probably why she's not eating so we're really struggling to get food in her at the minute so but today we are just gonna have a mummy door today at home aren't we mummy's gotta go out tonight though yeah so yeah we're just gonna take you guys around so if your child has ever had croup um let me know um like Obviously, she's getting a bit better now, but just what your experience was with that, um, I found it quite scary because I think mums always freak out a bit more. Like, my mind automatically goes to, like, worst-case scenario anyway with those kind of things. Um, but, yes. So, we're just going to take you guys along. I'm just going to grab a wipe because she's got ice cream, like, all over me at the minute, so gonna go clean up i'm gonna um yeah and the other thing is we had my work christmas due last night so we left early because i was up since four in the morning my hair's a mess and then went to work early and then 
went to church and I went back to work and it was my Christmas meal last night so I've not really spent a lot of time with this little monkey half my oh. so today we're just gonna chill out at home because I want to take out today this today's like the first day with this where she's actually like acted a bit more like herself so she's so gonna chill maybe watch a Christmas movie I won't film everything but I will insert a clip of like a Christmas meal yesterday because I actually wanted to um, do, show the event like on my channel but I was just so tired if I'm honest um, last night guys I didn't like film anything so my husband took a few clips so I will insert that um, now um, and show you guys that and then tonight I've got another Christmas meal I will try and shoot some of that and I will insert that in this vlog for today for you and yes so, and then I'll play you a few clips of that as well. And whatever else we get up to today. So, see you guys later. Hello. So, I've just put Amelia down. Hopefully she'll nap because she's tired and because she's not well. I'm trying to get her to rest as much as she can. Um, but she has like this little unicorn thing on. And the head is quite big. But she doesn't want to take it off or nap. So I'm probably going to end up going to check on her. Um, every now and then. Because I have this fear that she is going to like, I don't know, suffocate herself in it all is something even though she is a bit older now so she does take things off but let me know if, if it's just me or if you guys still do that like she's nearly two and I still worry about her like suffocating or pulling blankets over her head or all sorts so she's still in sleeping mags as well um because of that um so what I'm gonna do is I'm completely exhausted I should really like just pick up the whole house but if I'm honest I just want to like sit especially when she's napping I just want to like sit because when she's awake because I've not really seen her I do just want to like be around her and do things my phone died so I couldn't film it but a second ago we just decided to read some books she loves books like but lately because she's not been well she's not been into her normal like activities that we do like games and stuff that we do um and reading books and stuff so today she actually wanted well she bought me a book to read to her so um we ended up reading three books when my phone died so i couldn't film it um and what i'm gonna do now is just have some lunch and a coffee because i need caffeine and then i'm just gonna watch a show or something just to relax because i've been up um early this morning because of work and all weekend i've had early starts um and then in the evening stuff has been going on and in between amelia being sick i mean this is honestly like what i find hard about when i go through times like this about being a working parent and you know i love working um but it's still hard leaving your child whether you choose to work or not it's still hard and especially when we're going through um periods where she's sick or things like that it's still trying to manage that and make you know make her feel comfortable and loved and everything but honestly you can't take off every single time your child is off um obviously because you only allow certain hours of sickness all those kind of things anyway um that is just impossible so um yeah, so I might just rest now because I'm like I said I'm out again tonight. Um luckily it's after her bedtime. So um I am gonna sorry, I've <laughs> been yawning all day. Um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my lunch now, watch a show, chill out. I don't know, maybe for half an hour. But if I'm realistic, it's probably gonna be more like an hour because I've not just like sat like this at all like all weekend it's literally just been like go 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 from the morning to the evening so I'm gonna rest have my lunch I'm having some homemade sweet potato soup 
and then yeah and then i might just pick up the house because honestly i'll show you like my lounge at the minute like always it's just stuff around but the whole house is just stuff around this dishes and the bathroom is cleaning it's just because like i said it's been working and then caring for my baby this weekend that has been my two priorities and sometimes you know you go through seasons like that as a working parent that you have to choose what's important I do like to keep on top of things but then you get times like this where your child is sick so you have to prioritize right it's work and then because it's christmas time there's all these like do's and things going on so it is yeah it's literally been baby work um that has been like the two things that's just taken over my whole weekend this is the mess that is my lounge So as you can see, the nap did not last very long and she's very cranky. She's just not herself. I was gonna, I was just about to start cleaning the kitchen when she woke up. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah. So I might not even get to any like cleaning today and the whole house is a mess. So I'm just gonna try and see if she'll sleep on me. You okay? How are you feeling, baby? I'm just gonna see if she'll sleep on me. We'll just cuddle a little bit and then we'll see um, if I can get anything else done today. So I wanted to, if I had time, go over to laundrette today because um, we have no clean clothes, but we'll have to see. So I really was hoping she'd be better by this week so that I could, um, get back on track but you're more important are you okay so we're just gonna cuddle and then we'll see where the day takes us hey guys um i just have this new song that i have to practice for church i was out doing um i'm not that confident in it yet so i'm just gonna like practice it um uh, with a toddler that is whiny and this is often how it goes the promise of eternal trying to like get her to remember colors at the minute um if I, if you guys are interested in like what kind of things i use to teach her colors then just comment below and i can show you guys that but i know my phone is acting up today so i wasn't able to record that but that's what we did and now because she's not been eating proper food like i said earlier she wants a snack and these ritz crackers are the only things that she's actually eating i mean being a mum, i'm kind of worried like about her nutrition all that kind of stuff but the doctor said because her throat is so sore um just go with what she wants to eat this is my life sitting on the kitchen floor in my pajamas hop little bunnies up hop, hop 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 and stop children on the bus goes up and down up up and down. I suppose I should get on with something else. Um, yeah. Hi guys, sorry. So, so, about an hour and a half later. Wait, wait for mommy. Um, and I didn't film much because I've got a very whiny toddler because she didn't nap enough. Um, so. I'm just about to try attempt to make her something to eat and then I don't know we'll see how it goes
At least something. <gasps> Are you dancing, you silly girl? Where's your eyes? Eyes. Good girl. Where's your nose? No. Where's your ears? Ears. Good girl, you finally remembered. Where's your head? Where's your hair? Good girl. Where's your mouth? Where's your tiny teeth? Where's your tongue? No tongue. Good girl, you remembered. Well done. It's about 5.30 now. And I just ran her bath a second ago. My hair's a mess. I will try and remember to take some clips tonight um, of the party. So, but right now I need to get ready because I have an hour. I still need to bath her and get ready. Um, I'm not going to have time to tidy and clean. So, I'm just going to have to ask Luke to do that. So, but I need to sort of all miss. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do it. I'll try and find out. Hi guys. Um, so it's the next day. Just want to come on here and end the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did like it and enjoyed them, please don't forget to like, comment um, and subscribe and join my YouTube family. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.